I'm going to try something new today. I'm going to use one of these screen capture things instead of using the camera. So please let me know in the comments if you find this an improvement or you'd rather me go back to videoing using the camera. Uh, I keep trying to point at the screen with my finger and that doesn't work. I have to use the mouse, so I have to get used to that. Okay, here we go. This is Python 3. This is a graphic program. It creates a circle by brute force by using sine and cosine. We're not going to use any built-in functions to create a circle. Uh, one of the improvements I have, I have a note here to myself to make it scalable. We're going to use the graphics library from a gentleman named John Zella. It's open source GPL. And we're going to import uh, the math library. Okay, the next line down here, this colors. Colors is just a bunch of colors I selected. I put them in a list so that I can create circles of different colors. And in this case, I'm going to use all these colors in my circle. The next line down here, this H equals 250, that's the horizontal displacement of the circle on the window. The V is the vertical displacement of the circle on the window. The R is the radius. Uh, X and Y are X and Y within the window. Okay, so we've got everything set up now. All of our stuff is ready to go, and here's where the active code starts. We're going to create an object. This is our window. Uh, we're going to call it circle sine cosine. It's going to be 500 by 500. Uh, the next line is wind set background to black, so the background of the window is going to be black. Uh, down here to our next line is just uh, an iteration. We're going to go from 0 to 451 by ones. If I use more iterations, I get a denser circle, as you can see in the comment. However, it does take longer. Uh, it's, you know, this is a very fast program, but anyway, if time is an issue, you may want to uh, have fewer iterations, or if it's not an issue and you want a denser circle, then uh, use more iterations. Okay, so the formula is pretty simple. X equals R times cosine of T. This is T up here, plus our H, which is our value from back up here. Y equals R times the sine of T, uh, plus V, and V is back up here again. Our vertical displacement. And then we're going to plot these. So here's our x and y, and then the color is going to be the integer of x of our x value uh, mod 8. So yeah, I just, you know, just for fun. And once it plots the circle, the window will stay open. The uh, command done, it will print done to tell us that we got done. It will wait for us to click the mouse into the window, and when we do that, it will close and terminate normally. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. Okay, here's our circle. As you can see, it's made of multicolors. And it's done exactly what we anticipated. Uh, when I click on the window, it will disappear, and that's it. The program is done. Okay, that's it. That's how to create a circle using sine and cosine in Python. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your Python programming.